building an online course in WordPress and looking for a free but beautiful theme to make the experience of your online learners the best it can be? I'm Kevin with the team at Owlish, and in this video, I'm going to show you three free themes that we think work really well for selling and teaching online courses in WordPress. So let's get started. There's a few criteria that I like to evaluate whether they're, whether a theme's good for courses on WordPress. The first one is how is the um, LMS experience with the theme, basically. How nicely does it play with an LMS solution like uh, Owlish, which is our solution for, for courses on WordPress, or other ones, uh, some other LMS plugins out there. The second one is how is the page building experience? Does it support Gutenberg out of the box, or is it trying to do its own thing? The last one is responsiveness. How well does the theme work in terms of, you know, mo the mobile experience? So in this video, I'm recommending three themes that have a free version that I feel comfortable with with recommending to you so that you could literally build out a course site with just the free version. Now, if you want to see our entire list of 10 free WordPress themes that are great for courses, uh, we'll have a link below in the description. You can see the, the full blog article on that. So the first one again, Generate Press. Um, this has a strong free plan, if you will. Install this from the WordPress directory. What's nice about it is that it natively supports Gutenberg. You're going to have that Gutenberg experience. There's really no uh, sacrifice here. You're not dealing with another page builder that's thrown on top of this. It's all just right here. Um, make things look good, all that stuff. And you're, you know, if you have a um, LMS solution, you're going to be able to import different blocks for that and stuff like that. In terms of how well this plays with an LMS solution, I have just kind of a, a more standard LMS right out of the box. It plays pretty nicely. This is I did zero styling. Everything looks pretty solid. I can literally just start, you know, maybe change some of the background colors or whatever. Now the nice thing about uh, Generate Press is it's built very much from performance and lightweight coding. It's going to be great for SEO in that sense. Google likes fast loading sites and light, lightweight sites in terms of, of uh, again, not too much complex, messy code. It's very simple. So this is right out of the box, pretty straightforward. But the nice thing is it's easy to change. I mean, if I want to go in here and start um, affecting some of the colors, I can really do that. I can um, change various things around quite easily and uh, they even have sort of like a color preset thing that you can take advantage of. But overall I felt like this was very solid. It has a lot of different structural things that you can do to make things look the way you like and um, you're gonna have a pretty solid looking uh, course site. So if we look at some of the stuff in terms of the premium um, uh, benefits they have, we have the ability to, to actually um, use pre-made designs and you can see all the different designs that they have. Uh, if you go through the video here, we um, make it easy to just slap a new design on. You know, here's them, they just, they're just they saying, yeah, let's do this design. And within seconds, this becomes the design of their new website. So that's the nice thing. You get access to this massive library, which you can start to customize. Um, the other thing that it, it has is just additional blocks. And so you're going to have lots of nice little blocks for Gutenberg that didn't come um, just in the free version or in Gutenberg itself, but you're going to get a lot more stuff in terms of like a course grid. Maybe this is what you could use for uh, some of the grid stuff and just a bunch of other fancy little things to make your site look great. So for those of you who want to take that design to the next level, this really does have that. Next stop on our tour of great WordPress themes for course sites is Zakra. Now, if you are more of a developer, this may not be your dream theme. Zakra is kind of in between a very rigid theme where you don't really get much choice at all and something where you get tons of choice like a generate press so it's actually a pretty good theme for those of you who are you know still learning you're new to the wordpress space you you mostly want to get your course up and running but um, right now you're not ready to you don't want to devote your life to figuring um, out how to get it perfect and stuff like that so zakra is a, a, a pretty solid choice i'd say one of my favorite things about it is going to allow you to to import a demo very quickly you're like right after installation you get the option to go into this area and browse through some of the demos that they have now this is going to make installation just a lot faster um, there's obviously some premium ones, and if you even type in course, you'll see that one of the premium ones is a course site, so that would be obviously nice if you have the premium version. And there's a bunch of other ones that you can go with that are nice, solid, 
Uh, if we go here to the education one, let's just kind of go with that. And what you'll notice though is that it's going to install not only some demo data uh, onto your uh, site, so just be aware of that. You may have to delete some content and things like that from your site afterwards to, or, or replace it with yours. This is a theme that you really can take a look at what you're going to get in the preview image uh, and then you're actually going to see it right on your site. Here's the course page. This is a nicely well laid out course. Also, I do like that it uses Elementor. I, as, as I mentioned, I like page builders. I want people to be using page builders. Gutenberg is obviously the standard, as I mentioned, but Elementor is one of the other industry standards. Finally, one thing I always like to check for is how does the theme look in a mobile experience? And so just checking this out real quick, you know, the menus are nice. Um, you can quickly get to the courses. Uh, it's going to be a good experience for your students overall. So it's a nice theme out of the bat if you just want to get started quickly and have something nice. Now, one thing that's particularly good for more of the academic institution is education based. It's done by Acme Themes and they have a free version. As I mentioned with, with all these, I wanted to find uh, themes that have a strong free uh, offering. Unlike a lot of WordPress themes that after you install them, it's, you know, you're kind of left hanging. You don't know what to do next to make it look like what you saw in the picture. This theme gives you a lot more guidance on how to get started and gives you some different options. If you already have content, you're just changing your theme for one for another, you're going to want to probably just configure it as it is. And this guide gives you that. Going through this is going to help you transition to the theme pretty easily or much more easily. On the other hand, you do have uh, the ability to kind of import their pictures and their content. Now if we look at their demo, they've got an image gallery. I'm not a big fan of those, but you can replace that with static and it still has that nice academic institutional feel. Um, again, nice display um, sort of offering here to showcase the different aspects of your of your school. And then we get into some of the uh, courses down here. Now, these courses are not produced by the LMS, so these are kind of built into the theme. Um, but again, you could link to the specific course overview pages, or you could replace this with a block. Now let's import their demo just so we can see what it looks like on our actual site. We go to the demo import section here. Again, I'm not a huge fan of, of this if, if you're a developer and you're really careful about what plugins you have and you are optimizing for high performance, high traffic. Okay, so it's installed everything, probably added a bunch of plugins I need and, and all that stuff. So let's see what it looks like now. If I click on this, I can actually see that. Yeah, it looks good. It's that institutional feel. I can see there's some interesting animations here. So there's definitely some configuration for colors and, and things, and obviously the content. So that's the nice thing. Now, what does it look like when integrated with a typical LMS? Well, here's that view. It's pretty straightforward and looks nice, has everything I want. So without too much configuration, my LMS works quite well here. Now, if I want to look at the site from a um, mobile experience, which I always like to check. How does that look? It looks pretty pretty nice. I like how they've uh, adjusted the social icons here. The button is, is well positioned, but overall nice. I think it's a well done theme in terms of responsiveness as well. So if you're looking for a free WordPress theme that will work well for building out a course site on WordPress, make sure to check out the ones we recommended as well as our other recommendations in our article that's linked below. Also, what do you guys think? Do you have a free WordPress theme that you like better than the ones we recommended? Let us know by leaving a comment below. We'd love to hear about that. And that also will be great for others who are looking for a fantastic free WordPress theme when they're building out their course on their WordPress site. Also, make sure to check out Alish, which we'll link to in the description below. Alish is the new and easy way of doing courses and memberships in WordPress. We built it as a dream solution for our online course sites because we were so frustrated with the complexity of most plugins out there. So anyway, we're super excited to be launching it as a hassle-free way to build WordPress course sites that have membership capabilities too. Anyway, I'm Kevin with the team at Alish and I will see you next time.